Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to another day of distance learning. I am here with my daughter, Lainey, and we have some fun activities planned for you. We are going to open up some eggs, and there's a special surprise on the inside. We are going to sort some eggs that we decorated yesterday, and we are going to do a math activity with it. And we are also going to read a story to you of Tiny, the Rhode Island Easter Bunny. So that's what we have coming up. We're going to start with our egg opening surprise. All right, so we're gonna get the screen down here, and Lainey is my teacher assistant, and she's gonna open up each egg. Here's the first one. The golden egg. It's the best one. Look it is. It's a word. Oh, the. the word is the. Good job. Okay, we're gonna put that. I think it's the first one because it is a capital. It's capitalized. And if it's capitalized, that means that it goes first. Yes. So. I'm gonna put it right on the counter. All right, Lanes, here's another egg to open up. Let's see. There are all Hi. words inside these eggs. Ooh. Hopped. 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 We're going to look at that for one second. We're going to look at the word hopped. We're going to look at the beginning part of the word is CVC, consonant, vowel, consonant, hop. And then we have an ending, hopped, meaning it happened in the past, hopped. All right, so we're going to put that down on the counter. Okay. okay you're going to reach in any color. Let's see. Like this one. Okay. Looks like it's with. With the word is with, and we know that, boys and girls, because that is our one of our popcorn words. I'm gonna move the eggs. Put that down. But you know what, Lanes? I was just thinking it should be this way because they're not gonna be able to see it. It's backwards to us. It should be like this. Okay. And then no, it's all backwards. We're gonna all fix it later. Okay. All right. Reach in. Let's grab another word. I think I like this one. Ooh. Looks like it's bunny. Bunny, the word bunny. Okay, put it down anywhere. It's right there. Good job. And this one. Ooh, a purple one. Looks like it is. Let's see, maybe if they can figure this one out. Let's see. Oh, this is a new one for some of them. Some friends, this is a new word. Lainey, what's that word? All. 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 Let's put that down right over there. We have two more. Looks like it's eggs. And then as a period, that means that it goes last. It goes last. So these, this is the beginning and this is the end. All right, but they're all scrambled up though. So we have to look at all the words. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, there's one oh, more. There's one more. <laughs> There's one more. Let's see, this one is the, so another the. Another the, okay, so put it down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it. we're gonna scramble, we're gonna unscramble these, because yeah. these are all mixed up and I know it's hard for you to read. So I'm gonna put them up on my whiteboard. And we're gonna start with what we know is the beginning of the sentence. And it's the word the, because it's uppercase, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put it right here. The something hopped. Well, what oh. hops? Hey, show everybody. The bunny. Okay, put it on the board. The bunny. And what does the bunny oh. do? Oh. That's okay. That bunny. Put that on. The bunny. Okay. Hopped. Because bunnies hop. Good. Hopped. With. With. All the, the and eggs. That's fine. Eggs. Oh, let's see if that makes sense, boys and girls. Ready? Let's lift it up just a little bit. Let's lift up the screen just a little bit. Here we go. The, the bunny, bunny hopped with all the eggs. eggs. Does that make sense? Okay, let's try reading it again. Ready? The bunny hopped with 
all the eggs. eggs. Hey, boys and girls, what's that word? You say it. The. Very good. Uh, what's this word, boys and girls? With. That's a popcorn word, also one that we can tap out. Wa, i, th, th, thumb, th, wa, i, th. That th comes together in that blend, that digraph, and makes one sound. So, wa, i, th, with. Good job. I love it. Lainey, good job. Excellent. All right, next, we have sorted for eggs. you. Yep, put the eggs back in. Say, Goodbye, Mr. Bunny. He's going to go hop over here. Go hop over there. Okay. Now over here, we have some eggs. Let's look at the eggs. And this is Fluff, who we're going to mention in the story later on. In that story of Larry. And he's kind of oh, he's kind of going to watch us, okay? So here's my screen. Sorry that I'm moving a little bit. Lainey, can you show everyone the orange eggs? So, these are the orange eggs. And how many are in there, Lane? Seven. Seven orange. orange eggs. And you have all been doing a great job sorting. I loved your marker sort. I just looked at those pictures. You did a great job sorting markers and crayons and then putting them into different groups by color, labeling them, and that's exactly what I did with the eggs. The next one is blue, okay? And there are is three, three blue eggs, okay? There are also three green, green eggs. eggs. And let's just show a little picture because these are just so cute. Look at the little eggs that she... Hello, friends. How are you today? How are you doing? So cute. Three green. Two yellow. yellow. And this is also... Another cute one in there. And then oh, looky, so cute. There's also a unicorn. Oh, there's a unicorn one in there. Let's see. Hold it up. Hold it up to the camera. There's eggs and unicorns. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So there's two of those. And then there's just one little lonely pink one in there. All right. So, again, let's recap. Lane's back up a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have seven orange. Seven orange. Two. We have three, three blue. Yellow. Three green. green. Two yellow. Yeah. And one pink. All right, Lainey, which group has the most? This one. And that is which color? Orange. Orange. Say, orange has the most. Orange has the most. Orange has the most. Which group has the least? This one right here. And what color is that? Pink. Say it in a whole complete sentence, because when we talk, we answer in complete sentences. Which group has the least? Pink one, the pink, the pink eggs has the least. Good job. That's only one. Is there a group lanes where there's a tie? Uh, yes. Ooh. Right here. There's three blue eggs and three green eggs. So in math, what does it mean when it's a tie? That means that they it's both have the what? Same. The same. They both have the same, which is three. Three in each group. And Fluff would want to know how many eggs there are in all. Ooh, Fluff wants to know how many eggs in all. How should we do that, boys and girls? I think we should do. I think we should do it with adding. <laughs> you think we should add? Okay. So we're gonna take. Yep. Take those stickers off. off. Take the words off. And we're gonna start with seven. We're gonna keep the big number in our head, and then we're gonna keep counting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the screen this way. Okay. I'm getting, just trying to get the angle right. Okay, we're gonna move fluff over here. Okay, so seven, seven. That's right. Seven. So down. seven. No, if we do seven and three like this, we'll do it like that. Seven plus three. Good job. You guys know what that is? Seven plus three. We have seven, and then we're gonna add three more. We're gonna add the three Eight, blue eggs. Nine, and one more makes. Ten. ten. Okay, put equals ten. Seven and three equals ten, Lanes. Equals. Equals ten. ten. All right, good job. Let's do, let Lanes, let's do green, green and yellow. Green and yellow. Three and two. Let's do that. Okay, let's three. make number sentences. How do we make three number sentences with plus that? two equals five. Okay, so. Here we go. So show everybody. Show and everybody. <gasps> Look what she did. We have the three green 
plus the two yellow equals five eggs all together. We made number sentences. Awesome job, Lane. One more. Oh, we should add the pink. And then there's one pink, and we're just going to put that at the bottom. You want to put that at the bottom? Okay. And I'm just going to put... One plus that. zero? You want to make a number plus sentence? Plus... Because there aren't any more. Plus one. Equals... Well, one. let's put zero first there. Zero, zero so we can make a number sentence. plus one, one equals, equals... One. Still one. Show them. Show them with the zero, because they may not know how to do that. If there's a, hold it up, nice and high. If there's a zero, okay, see what Lainey did? And then we're adding one to it, we still only have one, okay? We started off with zero, we added one, we still have that one, that's it. Zero plus one equals one. Good job, all right, awesome. So I'm gonna move the eggs. That was so phone. cute, and they're gonna say, and gonna also, say goodbye. We have to know what. Bye. What do you guys think, for a bonus question, what do you guys <laughs> yeah, bonus think? Question. All oh, this equals. Oh, how many eggs all together? That's right. So 10, 5, and 1. Who can do that? 10, 5, and 1. Don't well, tell them, Lance. Don't tell them. 10, 5, and 1. So, first let's start off with the little numbers. 5 plus 1. I'm just going to put a little plus between them. Okay. Like that. 5 plus 1 equals... Six. Six. And you know how I would do it too? I would go like this. I would combine the two. That's not wrong, Lanes. I would do it like that so you could see that the five and the one equals six. Now I have this ten and this six. Boys and girls, the taste, the say ten way. Ten, six is how many? What's ten, six, Lanes? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yay. Ten, six. Sixteen. So we're just going to add these together. Yep. And that equals 16. 10 and 6 is 16. Awesome. Like this. 16. Good job, Lanes. Okay, that mat's a little small, but we get the idea. Thank you so much. Tiny, the Rhode Island Easter Bunny. I don't know if you've ever heard this story, boys and girls. Can I read but it? it is. Lane, you want to read the story? Yes. Okay, I think we're going to go. I like the story. I think we're going to go to where we normally. Let's see if we can read it here. Is this good? Okay, there we go. I was going to go to a different spot Tiny, with better lighting. The Rhode Island I think we're good. Okay. Do we live in Rhode Island, boys and girls? Is that the state that we live in? I think so. <laughs> it's the state we live in. Tiny, the Rhode Island Easter Bunny. One bright Easter morning, while out, while out for a jog, Tiny hears, Help! I'm stuck in a log! He scratches his head, thinking, who could that be? It sounded like Fluff. He better go see. Fluff is in a log with her feet in the air. Hey, Fluff, what on earth are you doing in there? A sad little voice from an echo space says, I thought this would make a good egg hiding place. You poor Easter Bunny, says Tiny while giggling. I'll get you back out. Just hold tight and stop w wiggling. Tiny pulls hard using all of his might. He tries and he tries, but his friend is stuck tight. My eggs, sighs poor Fluff. Who will deliver them now? I'll do it, says Tiny. Fluff laughs and asks, how? Don't worry, dear Fluff. Leave it all up to me. He watch, I watched you last Easter. How hard can it be? The bun this bunny looks funny. Yes, something is wrong. Let's see, he looks like he's in the suit. <laughs> his feet are too big and his nose is too long. His skin isn't furry, it's wrinkled and rough. And his tail is too thin and it's not made of fluff. He traveled to Wallach and, Chris and Cranston already. He's all out of puff and his legs feel unsteady. He hops, then he stops. Then he hops a bit more. Then he stops all the hopping. He flops to the floor. Hello, squeaks a mouth. Mouse in his fake bunny ears. In his fake bunny ear. 
Oh my, how you've grown since I met you last year. I'm Marvin, remember? You're running quite late. I'll help you. I'll help if you like. If if you'd like. Tiny nods and says, "Great." He heads down. He they head down to Newport, and they rush through the streets, delivering handfuls of chocolatey treats. Then Portsmouth, Providence, and Middletown too. There's not so much time left, but there's so much to do. Speed up, Marvin squeaks, or we'll finish too late. Dig under that hedge and hop over that gate. This Barrington house has a fence all around. Poor Tiny tries digging down in the ground, but the hole is too small, or his body's too big. How odd, Marvin thinks. I should. I thought bunnies could dig. Lane, hold on one second. So, boys and girls, I just want to point out that all the towns in Rhode Island are mentioned in this book. For example, on this page, Barrington is mentioned. That's a town in Rhode Island. And Newport. Westerly and Newport. You all live in Lincoln. They haven't mentioned that one yet, but I want you to really, really listen and see if you hear it in this book. Okay, keep going. Oops. The Westerly house has a really high wall. Jump up, Marvin squeaks. Come on, give it your all. So Tiny jumps up, but comes down with a thump. How odd, Marvin thinks. I thought bunnies could jump. And that's him climbing up the wall. He's just an elephant, though. He's not a bunny. <laughs> Marvin thinks that he's a bunny, but then he figures out. There's something a lot about this. <laughs> There's something not right, Marvin says. Let me see. He scratches his chin and thinks, what can it be? You're not very fast. Well, just look at those legs. You're not very careful. You've cracked half of the eggs. You don't have whiskers. You're not good at hopping. Those ears look quite fake, and that's no bunny dropping. And that's his poop compared to bunny poop. <laughs> ah, aha, now I've got it. He jumps to his toes. No bunny is born with a trunk for a nose. Ooh, you guys probably went there while you loons bark. Tiny starts crying. He wails, yes, it's true. I thought I could do the things real bunnies could do. Don't worry, it's fine, Marvin squeaks, being nice. Do you mind if I offer a little advice? You need to start using the talents you've got. Be proud to be you. Don't be something you're not. Oh, that's such good advice. He's trying to be fluff. He can't. Now he's going to be himself. It works. <laughs> what what talents, said Tiny. What things can I do? He blows his big nose and then, ah, ah, chew. Eureka, squeaks Marvin from high in a tree. That's wonderful, big trunky nose. It's the key. It's strong and it's long and it can pick up things up too. It's perfect for seeing the, easy draw, the Easter job too. We'll put it to work just as soon as we can. Well, let's head to one socket and test out this plan. This house has a fan fence, and this house has a wall. But with Tiny's big nose, there's no problem at all. This Oh, wait. <laughs> His long nose lifts up, reaches over the top, and then he drops an egg down the lawn with a plop. And, and look at the hole in this fence. That'll do. There is room for an egg and a trunk to fit through. So. Now the job seems quite easy. Well, that's how it goes. When an elephant uses his brain and his nose. And look it, that's all around. But daylight is breaking, the sun starts to rise, and home after home stands in front of their eyes. I don't think we'll make it, squeaks Marvin. Oh dear, hang on, Tiny shouts. I have a marvelous idea. He sucks the Easter eggs into his nose, and when his trunk is full, he takes an aim, aim, and then he blows. 
Look at those eggs blasting out of his trunk, landing on lawns with a thunk, 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 thunk. <clears throat> the basket soon is empty. We did it! Hooray! Come on, let's help Fluff. Oh, I hope she's okay. Hey, Fluff! Easter saved. I will get you out now. Thank you, shouts Fluff. But how will you get me out? How? At the side of the pond, Tiny dips his trunk. He drinks and he drinks till the water's all drunk. He use, and using his ho his nose as a huge water hose, he blows through the log. Look at Fluff. That's funny. Oh, it says something on that page. No. Look at Fluff. Up. Up she goes. Happy Easter, Rhode Island. And then there's. This is probably one of my favorite parts in the book. How many Easter eggs are in the picture? There's all hidden Easter eggs. Let's see if you can find them. See if you can find a couple of those eggs. Boys and girls, I have some questions for you about the story since we're working on characters and setting. So the first question is, uh, who or what were the characters in the story? Lance, who are the characters in the story? Fluff. Yeah. And Tiny. Fluff and Tiny. Yay. And, and Marvin. And <laughs> Marvin, too. And the setting of the story took place where? It took place in Rhode Island. Uh -huh. It took place, this is all over Rhode Island. Okay, good. And what about, do you think that we should ask the boys and girls to retell the events in the story? Okay. Yeah. Say first. first. Then. Next. Next. Last. So you're going to tell what finally, happened. Finally or finally. Or finally. You're going to say what happened first in the story, then next, and then lastly, last. So you're going to tell an adult what happened in that story. We really hope that you enjoyed our lesson today. We hope that you have a wonderful Easter with your family. And until next time, bye.